Welcome to the AACS Daily News. Attleboro High School's career and technical education programming has expanded over the last several years and it continues to grow. CTE Director Jeremy Gay gave us an update on the program. It's been an exciting time here the last couple of years. Uh, just a few years ago we were running 12 uh, CTE programs and we're currently running 15. Uh, we added radio and television broadcasting, marketing, and robotics and automation. Uh, this fall, we're slated to open HVAC and dental assisting. And a year from now, we'll be opening cosmetology. So we're going from 12 programs to a total of 18 in just a couple of years. And there is a renewed focus with CT, and it's, uh, there's a lot of research that shows that students who participate in CT have uh, better attendance rates, uh, fewer discipline referrals, and they have better completion rates for two- and four-year institutions when they go to college. And they also perform better on all forms of standardized testing from MCAS to uh, AP and SAT exams. Uh, we see the, uh, the benefit of offering all these CT programs to our students in a comprehensive setting. So when the students are here taking CT programming that is, you know, equivalent to any vocational, regional vocational school that's out there, but they also can take advanced placement courses, they can take a foreign language class, they can join uh, clubs and organizations, and there's a complete catalog of sports that these students can participate in that may not always be available at the other schools. So Attleboro has one-stop shop, we're doing it right. So there are some other schools that students can attend from Attleboro that have some sort of CTE programming, and uh, you know, and that's a that's on a case by case basis. But uh, our hope is is that with the with, with the rigor and relevance of our programs here and all the other offerings that we have, that students will choose to stay here in Attleboro. Like I said, it's a very exciting time right now here in Attleboro. We're getting ready to move into our new facility. Uh, with that new facility comes a new schedule where we're going to be able to really. Um, concentrate CTE with our students and that means that they're going to get the 900 hour required hours that the, uh, the Department of Elementary and Secondary Education requires and many of our programs are going to be well above that 900 hour mark so therefore what's going to happen is you're going to see students that are well prepared ready to join the workforce ready to, to uh, participate in post-secondary education it's truly a win-win